There's a ship out there. Prepare the cannons and fire once within range. We're not quite there yet. Basically, I want to build a pirate ship, so that's what we're going to do in this video. So the first question that we have is how big should the ship be? 200 blocks seems like a pretty good length. Now to kind of start making the shape of the hull. And I'm using brown concrete right now, but I'll change that later. You know, looking at it now, this seems like a little bit too much. I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Alright, so this is looking pretty cool, I'd say. I like this curve that I kind of added on the bottom. I at first had it just a straight line, but I think this looks a lot cooler. Now I think the next step would be to use some brown terracotta and kind of mark out where the top decks of the ship will be. Now this thing is looking pretty cool. The only thing that I'm not sure about is how I'm going to figure out the curved parts because those might be a bit of a challenge, but I think I'll figure it out as I go along. Now the next step is to figure out how to add a third dimension to this. That is looking pretty cool. I've just kind of gone around and added a skeleton, sort of through the whole thing, and it's taken a bunch of time, but it's looking really cool. Now using World Edit, we can copy this side of the ship to the other side. And if we just take a look at this, yeah, you can really start to get a feel for the size of the ship. The next step is to fill in all these gaps. All right, so quite a bit of time has passed since that last clip, and now you can see all of this is filled in. Well, I like the shape of this, so the next step is to just take all of this and mirror it over. So just copy, flip and paste, and then we just take a look at that. Yep, we've got this whole shape. Now, my first thought looking at it is it seems a bit wide. Um, I'm not sure if I would want to change that. So I went ahead and took out four blocks from the center here, and now I think it doesn't look as wide, and I think, yeah, I'm more happy with this. Also, I want to try something, so I'm going to get rid of this quickly. Yes, this is much better than it was before, and so I've made some changes, and we can look at them here. So first of all, I've raised this part up a lot, and then I've kind of extended these, and we can see the difference if you take a look at what it looks like on this side, and then I've left it as it was on this side. Well, now we can just mirror this over. Okay, so what's next? That would probably be to figure out what types of blocks this ship will actually be because of course we're not going to be keeping this concrete or the terracotta. I kind of like the idea of using some dark colors like gray terracotta and dark oak planks. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. I've used a bit of gray terracotta at the bottom of the ship here, and then above that I used some dark oak planks, and then for the main decks of the ship I put in some spruce planks. Now all that we need to do is add some details to this. So I made a few changes to the ship, including adding a bowsprit on the front, adding some rails all the way around, but leaving some gaps here because that's like where everyone goes on and off of the ship. And then in the back here, I added some stairs that people can get up and down, and also some cannons over on this side of the ship. And now what I want to do is add some windows on the back. So I made some changes here. As you can see, I added those windows in the back there like I was talking about, and then I also switched all the black terracotta to oak planks, because I think I like the lighter look better. Then I also changed the shape of this back area a bit more. And next I want to change it so that this area up here doesn't look so empty. Yeah, so I went ahead and did that and a bunch more. So I've kind of made this look nicer, added some detail at the top there. And then I added the rudder at the back of the ship. Then added a few windows here. And then a bit of a balcony here, which I think could be kind of interesting if we start doing some interiors. So you can walk out here onto the balcony and take a look at the sea or ocean, wherever the ship is. And then I added a bunch more cannons, another row of them. So some more time has passed and I've marked out the shapes, sizes, and positions of the three masts that I want to have on the ship. And now I kind of want to plan out where the sails will go on them. But I do have to say I really like how the ship is turning out so far. Okay, so I'd say that this is pretty well planned out. And now we need to come up with a color scheme for the sails. So I kind of like the idea of having a gradient going up the sails. And I came up with these three blocks. So bone blocks, smooth sandstone, and then stripped birch. And I think if we had that pattern going up all the way, it would look pretty cool. So I'm going to start planning out the shape of this back sail because it's one of the smallest sails, and I'm using white concrete for now, but we can add that gradient in later. Okay, so I like the look of this, and now we just have to add in the gradient. So I set up some brushes with World Edit using the three shovels that I have in my hotbar, and we can use this netherite shovel to paint along this white concrete with some stripped birch wood, and then use the stone shovel to paint in some smooth sandstone and then fill in the rest with this iron shovel to paint in bone blocks. 
I also switched that birch wood to birch planks, and yeah, I like how this looks. Then I also randomized some of the textures there so that it feels a bit more natural. And so what I want to do next is make all the other sails, and there's six that I have planned here now. The point is, this is going to take a while, so we might as well get started. Alright, so these six sails are now planned out, and now what we need to do is take our brushes and go through and add the gradient to all of these. So I think that this thing is looking alright, but I'm not too sure about the gradient now that I look at it, because I kind of feel like the bone blocks are too different from the birch planks. Like it's too much of a contrast, so I kind of want to come up with something different. So I changed the blocks of the gradient just so that I can have the colors stay separate, and I kind of like the look of these dark sails, but I probably want to stick with the lighter ones. So I've come up with these four gradients, and this one here is the one that we just had, and out of these four I probably like this one the most. But I kind of want to try this one too, just to see how it looks. Hmm. So, I do like this one, but I kind of prefer the yellowish tone on the birch planks and smooth sandstone. Now that also looks interesting, and I'm honestly not sure whether I like it or not. It's kind of darker than the original gradient, but I kind of like that. You know what, for now I'll just stick with this. So I've done something pretty cool. If you take a look at this cannon, you can see I've upgraded it. And if we fly to the inside here, then... All we have to do is flick the snow block, fly to around here, and then you can see it's got a functional TNT cannon. And this thing's got a really compact design, so what I want to do now is just copy it over to each of these cannons. So copying over the cannon design was the easy part. What I wasn't expecting is how difficult it would be to actually get everything to work together. So here's the first iteration of the TNT cannon that I designed, and if we just activate it you can see that it will work pretty well. But it kind of seemed like sometimes the TNT would lose a bunch of its momentum on this block here, which is why I changed this to a slab. Then I also wanted the TNT to be aligned a bit better, so what I did was I added a ladder there so that the TNT that spawns in this block can't move into that block, and then the TNT that is dispensed into that block can't move here. But then I also wanted to just waterlog this block, so I did that, but then the thing is, of course, the water will flow everywhere. So to combat that, I used a bit of glow lichen, and placed it there because it stops water, but it still doesn't have a hitbox, which means that the TNT, when it explodes back there, can propel the TNT out, but it won't be stopped by the glow lichen. Then I also wanted to waterlog this slab just in case the TNT ended up there, but then I noticed that this water is now flowing, which means that when the suspenser is activated, the TNT will be pushed just onto that slab there, and then blow up the machine. But then, after a bit of testing, I found out that if we replace this with a coral fan, then the water will no longer be flowing water. Then, another small issue that I came across was that I wanted to use trapdoors to cover some of the redstone, but when activating the machine, some of the trapdoors would get activated like that. So I changed up the machine, instead having a target block there, then placing a glass block instead of this note block, and then I can route the redstone to go there into that target block, and then also there. Then I had some issues with the modules interfering with each other and then blowing the whole wall up, but I got around that by having all the modules activate at the exact same time, and I did that using instant wires. So, let's try this out. Nice. Although it doesn't fire super far, it doesn't obstruct the decoration aspect which is what I like about it. So, I've added some more sails to the front here, and now I want to design a new cannon to add to the front of the ship here. Oh yeah, and I also switched the diorite up here to bone blocks. Okay, so we've now got four cannons on the front of the ship here, and these are much more powerful than what we had on the sides. So if I just activate this note block here, then we can fly to the outside. And you can see those go much further than what those cannons go. So I've added some more sails to the ship, and I think that it's looking pretty cool. I've also added these nets so that the pirates can kind of climb up to these platforms. And what I want to do next is design some more cannons to add on the back here. Okay, so check this out. It's taken a while, but I've got all four cannons here working. So we can just activate them with this note block here. And then if we step back and take a look, you can see that that works pretty well. Then I've also started adding some interiors, which is probably what I would want to work on next. So you can see if we walk in here, we've got some stairs. And then this goes down into kind of the hull of the ship where all the cannons and everything are and where everything else will be. It has been quite a bit of time and, well, okay, let me just fix this fence. Anyways, I've done a lot of the interiors and a few more things on the exterior. 
and well, let's just go check this out. So this room is kind of boring, not really much to show, but if we go through this door at the back here, we'll go into the captain's cabin, and this is probably one of my favorite rooms on the whole ship. So we've got this garden here with a parrot in a cage, which I really like. And then we've got another garden over there, and then a really nice fancy bed here for the captain, and then a desk in the back, a rug, and a chandelier, and just some kind of stored stuff with gold and everything, some bookshelves. And of course there's windows all the way around, which just has a really nice atmosphere, and when the ship is out on the ocean, you can really just see all the water and it'll be really nice. Moving on, we can head down these stairs onto the lower levels. So through here, we kind of just have a dining room with some chandeliers, and it's just fancy. But if we head out through here, then we can access one of the larger areas of the ship, which is where the crew will access the cannons. So there's two levels of cannons, one up here and then one below. And then walking through here is another room that I'm pretty proud of, and it's just kind of a more open room. And it's got a bunch of chandeliers, and there's another table for dining, and there's just kind of barrels and crates and just stuff being stored all around. I really like this whole area, really. Especially these trapdoors in the ceiling. I just really like how that looks, because you can kind of see the sky above there with all the sails. And of course, from above, that's this area. Through here, we kind of have a lounge, and I kind of like the feel of this room. It's a bit shorter than the other rooms, and it's just kind of more of a place to hang out. And then we kind of have a balcony where you can see those cannons at the front of the ship. And speaking of those cannons, I hooked them all up to this control panel at the back of the ship where we can just hit the note blocks if we want to fire any of the cannons. Anyways, on the lower level here we have the crew's sleeping quarters with all the beds that we need. Some honorable mentions are the brig and the four treasure rooms that we have at the bottom of the ship. But hang on, we're not quite done yet. Because what I want to do is make a lightmatic of this whole thing, and now I'm going to paste this into the Voidcraft building server. And there we go. The cool thing about the server is all the building tools it has that we can use to make this ship look even better. Okay, so using Go Paint, I've set up a brush so we can change the spruce blanks to be a different block like this. And they're randomized with not so great looking blocks right now, but we'll change that later. Okay, so I've done all the decks of the ship, but now I want to go through the interiors. Okay, so now that all that's done, I want to replace the lodestones with spruce planks, and then replace all the netherite blocks with spruce stairs. Now this is looking pretty cool, although you might notice some of the stairs are kind of in a state that they shouldn't be able to be in, but luckily World Edit can fix that, at least this version of World Edit. We can run slash slash fix connect, and it will reset all the states of all the blocks, so now everything is as it should be. So all of that was pretty much just that we can add some texture to all the floors and ceilings of the build, but you might notice that there's some kind of gaps we can see through, so I want to fix those. So this is going to take some time a few blocks placed later. So now that that's all done, I wanted to redo the gradient on the sails. I also just want to add one more small sail at the top here. Okay, so I've made a new sail using lime wool, and we can use that lime wool to mask the gradient using Go Paint, which I want to try to figure out how to do now. Okay, so hopefully this will work. Wow, that is pretty cool. Wow. Now to do the same with the other sails. Now that is looking pretty cool, and now what I want to do is add some flags on the top of the masts. And there we go. That is looking pretty good. Also, yeah, you might have noticed I decided to go for the dark sails opposed to the lighter ones that we had before. Anyways, let's now make a lightmatic of all of this, and then get rid of this old pirate ship. So I just got rid of everything except these dispensers so that I don't have to go back through and fill them up again. And now we can paste in the updated schematic. Now I am pretty happy with this, and where were we? Oh yeah. There's a ship out there. Ha! Prepare the cannons and fire ones within range. Ha! Ha! Little bit underwhelming, wasn't it? If you want a world download of the ship, you can find one in my Discord server. There's a link to that in the description of this video. Subscribe for more.